Hey guys, Liam here, welcome back to Black Overland. Today I'm going to be installing a snorkel in my FJ Cruiser. Check out the description below for a full list of everything that I use. You only need a few basic tools, but I do recommend that your drill bits and your hole saw are very sharp to ensure a nice clean cut through your body panel. The snorkel itself fits on the right hand fender panel um, and it has got this ducting here which needs to go through the fender panel straight to your air box in the engine compartment. There are a few holes we're going to have to drill, obviously the mounting holes for the actual uh, snorkel itself go in this panel and then one large 100mm hole here for the main ducting to go through to that air filter box. After we've lined that up we'll then mount the top of the snorkel to the pillar on the windscreen. To get access inside this wheel arch we'll have to remove the lining above the wheel here and that involves dismantling um, this fender, undoing all the uh, clips inside here as well as a few nuts that are situated inside there. After we've taken those off and dropped them down we can then get access inside this compartment to connect the snorkel up to this main air filter box. First thing to do is to remove the inner panels inside the wheel arch. You can either leave the wheel in place um, or you can jack it up and then once you jack it up you can take the tire off. That just gives you more space to work inside there, makes your life a little bit easier so that's what I'm going to do first. So with the wheel removed you've got much easier access inside the wheel arch and it's this cover that we're trying to remove. Now it's held in by clips all around, three, di three different types of clips. Um, as well as the actual fender itself which is held in by little bolts. So the idea is to loosen this whole fender by doing the bolts off, then get these clips off and then this will come out and we have access inside this compartment. Now Toyota is adamant that you don't have to buy the clips. I've been to two dealerships and they both told me you can get these out with a screwdriver. Um, that is not the case. So I'll leave a um, a, a material number in the description below where, what, of the clips that I got from Toyota because I'm going to break them all and taking this line off and I'll put the new ones back in. Now the South African versions of the FJ Cruiser have indicator lights in the fender panels here. That's going to be a problem because the snorkel fits across here and cuts across pretty much diagonally across that indicator light. So you're going to have to remove this. I'll take it out and then I'm going to fashion together some sort of aluminium plate that I can just slide in and cover that hole and spray it black. Importantly though, uh, don't cut the, uh, when you take the wiring out for this indicator, just le let it hang loose behind the panel and don't cut it whatsoever. If you cut it, it's going to activate the immobilizer and your car won't start. So just take the globe out and leave the cable loose hanging behind you. So I put the template on, but it comes from um, the manufacturer all rolled up and crumpled. So it's a bit difficult to lay it completely flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nuts into the snorkel and then I'm going to line it up here and see if the holes which I'm about to drill are in fact in the correct place. Rather measure twice than measure three times and cut once because once we've drilled in here and there's a problem, that's it, there's no going back. Okay, so I've finished all my holes in the, in the fender. I just cleaned them up with the step bit just to um, get any little shards off, gives a better finish than a drill bit um, and I'll use a flappy disc in the main hole. Then just to stop any rust from developing I'm going to do a coat of touch up paint on any exposed steel. I'm now ready to mount the top bracket at the top of the snorkel. What I've done is I've just bolted in the far left and the far right bolt to line it up to the body panel so I can see exactly where I need to measure. I'll then just Put that in plate on the on the um, snorkel and check these are lined up, which they are, and then mark on the pillar when to drill the holes. I'm going to use a four and a half mil drill bit for the rivets. I want them to be as tight in there as possible. I've 
put the airbox back in and if we look through here that is the airbox there so it's got almost like a propeller and I think that acts like a centrifugal type of dust dispersal and now I'm going to have to put the there's like a rubber collar, a flexible collar that comes with this will have to connect between the dust and the snorkel so I'm going to try and put the rubber collar through here get it on there then line it up with the snorkel it's going to be a bit tricky but I think with a bit of fiddling I should get it this is the rubber collar that fits between the airbox and the snorkel and I've had to trim it to size before I put it in here. Just remember, <coughs> put your rings on before you put it in because uh, you can't get them through there afterwards. Okay, and the last thing to go back on after you've mounted it to the fender is the intake ducting. Um, this can swivel around, so if you're in very dusty areas, you can reverse it, but I prefer having it facing forward. And then you just need to tighten this um, clamp, and then put the fender flares inside the wheel arches back on, and the wheel back on, and that's pretty much it.